Now push. That's it, Olivia. You're doing great. You're doing just fine. Where's Harry? He just ran to the restroom. Someone go get him. Go get him quick. Okay. Crazy to think our lives are going to completely change in a few minutes. Yeah. Girl or a boy? Little girl. Same here. No kidding. I already got the little princess's room set up. Oh, Harry Davis. What do you do, Harry? Counting. You're kidding. <laughs> I'm a partner over at Marilyn Langham. Really? I interviewed over there when we moved to town last year. Well, look, if you're ever looking again. Yeah? Now. Me now? You now. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, thanks. It's so good. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Hi. I have to take the baby for a couple minutes. We need to run a few tests. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Don't okay. laugh at me. I spent nine months carrying her. I've gotten a little attached. <laughs> <laughs> Just relax, it's okay. Oh, you're so precious. Yes, you are. Little Miss Precious. That's why I called you. Nancy, can you cover while I run to the bathroom? We only have the Wilson baby in here now. Yeah, she's going to have her first friend. Isn't this exciting? Oh, yeah. Well, you'll be lucky to sleep two hours before the baby wants to feed. See if you can shut your eyes. I'm afraid I have some very bad news. Your baby didn't make it. I'm afraid I'm gonna break her. She's so, she's so delicate. She is. <laughs> Do you see these lashes? You getting it? Yeah, I'm gonna edit all of these together and then I'm gonna send it to our parents. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Um, you, you go on, I'll, I'll catch up, okay? Come here. Come here. Three months on the craziest job I've ever had, and it's finally over. Yeah. Well, at least they paid well. I mean, your designs look great. Thanks. No, I mean it. Really. I mean, I know I'm not an expert, but as somebody who has visited a website on more than one occasion, these are really good. Thank you. Do you have anything else lined up? Not yet. You know, if you plan to take time off anyway, it's been six months. Medically, it's safe to try again, and financially... I don't want another baby. I want the baby I held that night. I want to hold little Chloe. Liv, I know, and if there was any way that I could make that happen... You would do everything in your power, I know. But I know it's not possible. I want to have a family, and you are having children. All I can see is her. Yeah. Well, look. Having another child doesn't mean forgetting our first. 
right? Look, I got four brothers. You think my parents love some of us more than the others? Your mom definitely loves you the most. <laughs> yeah, maybe just a little bit. Oh, we ran into Kathy the other day. Oh? She just got back from this yoga retreat out in the desert. That sounds nice. Great. I've been going the middle of the week. You're talking to Harry? I just... Yeah. I've been talking to Harry. And he's worried about you. He wants you to be happy. Hey, I have friends who would kill for a husband as understanding as Harry. And there's nothing wrong with taking a few days off to clear the mind and relax. You're right. But not this weekend. We have to go to a picnic at Harry's new boss's house. Harry got a new job? Yeah. They met at the hospital that night. Saw him in the hallway and realized things had gone. So that sounds like his wife will be there with her baby. The party is a welcome to the world baby Sienna party or a parents showing off party. Are you sure that's a good idea? Three days ago, Harry wanted to have another baby. Am I supposed to spend the rest of my life avoiding babies and ignoring new moms? Just see how it goes. This should be fun. Yeah, we'll see. Wow. Seems like your boss is doing pretty well for himself. Yeah. Well, if the company's doing well, the boss is doing well. Where are you stealing from the company? Baby, please don't say that in front of my coworkers. I'm kidding. Okay. My goodness. This place is incredible. Acres you think they have? I mean, I'm not good with acreage, but <laughs> more than one? <laughs> it seems like a lot. I don't know about that. <laughs> it must be Olivia. Glenn, right? Yes, yes. Uh, where are my manners? Hey, anyway, uh, make yourself at home. We've got burgers and, uh, and dogs by the grill and vegetarian options, if that's your thing. But I have to apologize in advance. I need to borrow your husband for a few minutes. Please, go ahead. Okay, enjoy. in my delivery room. Yes. Yes, of course. Hi. Hi. O Olivia. Yeah. Davis. Olivia. Sorry, I didn't mean to react like that. That's okay. We haven't seen each other since that night. And I'm sure it was hard for everyone. Did you help... Um, it was the family's bond with the nurses. I get invited to these things every once in a while. But apparently not today. I guess there was some kind of mix-up. <laughs> I didn't know that you and Brooke knew each other. We don't, actually. Our husbands work together. They met that night, and Glenn offered my husband a job. He did? Wow, that's, that's amazing. I mean, that's, that's very generous. Yeah. Enough about them. How are you? I'm... It was... Really hard at first, but I'm a lot better now. Really? I was. I need to go, but it was really good seeing you again. Yeah, you too. You know, I mean, why don't you take my number? I'm glad you're doing well, but 
But if there's ever a day that you want to talk to someone that's not a professional or a close friend, just an extra ear, give me a call. Here. Thank you. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Sorry, I don't think we've met before. I'm Brooke. <laughs> and this is Sienna. Are you okay? Liv, what's going on? When Brooke asked me to... I know, and you wanted to leave. Look, I understand. No, you don't understand. When I looked down at that baby, I was filled with joy. I was so happy, I thought my heart was going to burst. And I knew exactly what I needed to do. And what did you think you needed to do? I need to get this house ready for a baby. Checking to see how my two favorite ladies are doing. Fantastic. Just doing a little shopping. You do a little bit of shopping every day. And then let me guess. Coffee shop, park, library, in that order. <laughs> well, I like my routine. And babies like their routine. Yeah, well, I read somewhere that babies like variety. Like not busted. <laughs> Love you. To your clothes, you wouldn't be running around looking for her. Did you push her up here? I certainly did not. I found her sitting there just now. Zoe, hey, hey, hi. <laughs> I was beginning to think I had the wrong time. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I had something I had to do. Okay, I got us the table inside. Oh, no, let's eat here. Sure. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Oh, okay. What did we get last time we were here? Are you sure? Doesn't really seem like you're here with me. Brooke! Brooke! 
Olivia, hey, <laughs> wow, I'm so happy to run into you like this. I wanted to apologize for the way that I acted the other day at the picnic. Oh, don't even worry about it. <laughs> I totally understand. Thank you. And I wanted to say hello to you again. Hi, sweet girl. Oh, you are so beautiful. You know that too, don't you? Oh, <laughs> oh that's so crazy to run into you. Yeah. I usually get a latte while Sienna naps in the park. Oh, so this restaurant's just along your usual route? Yeah. Uh, my husband calls me a creature of habit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big smile for me, don't you? Yes! She likes you. She's been crying a lot lately. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Some babies are just fussy. Yeah, maybe. Well, listen, it was great seeing you both, um, but we just had something a little weird happen at the boutique, so... Um, I loved seeing you. Yeah, for sure. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. You're stalking her, aren't you? What? No. Mm. Wait, you just happen to pick a restaurant that's along her usual walk. You pick a table and a chair facing the street. Just so you can accidentally bump into her? I may have noticed her the other day while I was running errands and I thought if I ran into her in the neighborhood I could casually apologize. That's all. Or you have babyitis. No. Hey, I don't blame you. That is a beautiful baby. She really is. So what are we going to order? I forgot to tell you. I ran into Glenn's wife today. Brooke? Mm-hmm. I was actually thinking that we should invite them over for dinner. Really? Yeah, I sort of owe them for running out on their picnic the other day, and I don't know, that's a thing people do, right? Invite their boss over for dinner? Good for their career? Yes, it is. Good. You handle the invitation and the scheduling, and I'll cook dinner. Mm. And you know what? Um, tell Brooke that they don't need to get any babysitters. I love you. You know that? I know. And it's very well deserved. Hey. Looks good. Maybe re relax. I can't relax. Everything has to be perfect. You do know this is my boss, right? So I'm the one that's supposed to be nervous? No, but Brooke is coming and the baby is coming and I'm just excited. That's all. Okay. Hi. Oh, thank you. Hi. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. Hey. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah, thanks for coming. Uh, yeah. Let me just get the door for you. Yep. This is actually our first night out since we've had the baby. Wow. I know. Oh, one of us is an overprotective mother. Well, I mean, we had such a hard time having the baby. I wouldn't want to leave her alone for just a second. Right, sweetie? <laughs> hey, guys. Sorry, oh. I was late. I had to turn things down in the Hi. kitchen. <laughs> Hi, there you are. Wow, oh, you got the touch. <laughs> Let me show you to the nursery um, in case we've got breaks. fresh bed sheets. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Did you drink? Yeah, scotch. Sure. If you got it. Of course. Hey, um, you know, before Sienna, uh, Brooke and I, well, we tried several times and had too many miscarriages. And it really affected her psychologically. So the other day, what happened with Olivia at the party? I was a little concerned that bringing the baby might be too much for her. Yeah. I gotta be honest, I was a little worried myself. Well, I mean, she seems to be okay. Yeah. Yeah, she does. That's fantastic. <laughs> hey, our kids could play together. Wouldn't that be something? Come on, let's get you that drink. We hadn't planned on bottle feeding, but 
she had such trouble latching on, so. That happens sometimes, I hear. It's just so disappointing, you know? I mean, like you hear about all of the bonding that happens during breastfeeding, and it's like, we don't have that. You know, it's like there's a connection missing. And content and asleep in her mother's arms. That's the connection. Thank you. I needed to hear that. She should sleep for about an hour. Great. That'll give me plenty of time to get things out of the oven. Olivia, I hope this doesn't upset you, but um, you're going to make a great mommy one day. That doesn't upset me. You've really helped me turn things around. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, this, this was fantastic. I mean, I've never had Cordon Bleu quite like this before. Here, I'll help you. No, not at all. I'm just gonna go get dessert and make a little coffee. Oh. Wow. Harry. She is amazing. I'm not even half the cook that Olivia is. Oh, well, this is actually, this is her go-to dish. Mm -hmm. uh, same dish the night I proposed. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, look, have you ever split up or I've ever met? Not to be underrated. That's an important skill. Damn straight. Hey, where's your, uh, where's your bathroom? Uh, just down the hall on your left. Okay. Uh, Glenn, don't wake the baby. Yeah, because that was my intention. Oh. Garden gnomes. Garden gnomes. That was what I was trying to think of before that scared me. Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to say that was your adventure. Uh, no. That would have been <laughs> the weirdest child. Sorry, we have to leave early. Glenn gets these last minute work yeah, things sometimes. I gotta prep for my London conference call in the morning. <laughs> well, we'll see you at the office. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you again. Drive safe. Honey, can I help you with the dishes? No, that's okay. I'm gonna finish binging a show afterward. Oh, British uh, cake baking or British murder mystery? It's a show where British people murder each other with cake. <laughs> okay. I won't wait up for you. Hey. Morning, honey. Honey. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just, uh, there's nothing. Did you take the baby seat out of my car? No. Oh, you probably took it out to put your golf clubs in and forgot to put it back in. No. I wouldn't put my golf clubs in the trunk. I can't believe we keep running into each other like this. Uh, creature of habit. <laughs> hey, Harry told me the other night about what you said at our house about how 
you and Glenn haven't been out and you don't trust babysitters and I just thought I would offer my services. Oh. I have all the free time in the world right now and Sienna and I get along so good. <laughs> no, I, I'm sure Sienna would love it. It's just that, um, well, Glenn just hired on a full-time. Right. I mean, I certainly don't think we need a full-time nanny, but um, Glenn set the whole thing up, so. Oh. Between you and me, something a little weird happened at the store the other day. I, I don't really want to get into it, but um, Glenn feels that I might be stretched a bit thin. And uh, he wants to make sure that there are eyes on the baby at all times. <laughs> and he calls me the overprotective one. <laughs> well, if you can afford it, then that's, that's great, I guess. Keep going. Oh, yeah, of course. Is that for me? No, 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 no. It was just something I uh, had at work. Okay, well, you want to get dressed? And Annie's going to be here soon. Yes, that's right. She likes it when you play the music mm -hmm. above her crib when she's about to take a nap. Oh, and you have to feed her before you change her diapers. That's okay. Hi, Janice has done this so many times before. It's okay. Everybody's nervous the first time. Yeah, I mean, it is my baby. Yes, I know. Oh, what's all this? Uh, something's not adding up at work. I reached out to Glenn to show him what I've got, except I don't know what I've got. You gonna be at it all night? Yeah. I think I'm gonna go see a movie then. Okay. Hey, sweet. Thanks for understanding. There's been plenty of tip -up. Yeah. Sleepy? Okay, sweet girl. And hi. Honey, maybe I should just call the babysitter just to check. Honey, 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 relax. She's a professional. If there's a problem, she'll call. Put it away. Okay? Who's there? 
Mrs. Wilson? Hello? Are you guys back already? <sighs> Mrs. Wilson? Yeah, no, I completely understand. We'll just, we'll reschedule whenever Glenn's available. Sounds good. Okay. Talk soon. Yeah, thank you. What's wrong? So that was Glenn's assistant from the office. Yeah? I guess Brooke and Glenn went out last night. Okay. And when they came home, they found the nanny dead in the pool. What? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, apparently she, I don't know, she got drunk and fell in. Oh my God, the baby? Uh, no, baby's fine. Uh, they found her hungry, wet, and crying in the crib, but she's fine. Uh, Brooke is never going to trust a babysitter again, that's for sure. I should go over there. She's probably going to need some help with the baby. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, I never even uh, heard you come in last night. You were asleep on the couch. You're working too hard. What did you end up seeing? Some boring foreign film. What was it? I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get going. Okay. I'll call you. Yeah, bye. <sighs> hey, Brooke, oh, yeah. can I come in? Yeah. I know you're probably pretty worked up right now. Yeah. I just wanted to say that I'm not working and I don't have anything else lined up and if you need any help at all with Sienna, I would be more than happy to, to, to come be here with you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I mean, that's... I know you probably don't want to let her out of your sight ever again, but you're going to have to take a bath and maybe check on dinner and everyone needs some help sometimes and I just hope that you can trust me and... Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes. Can you actually take her yes. now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I really have to pee. Oh. oh. Hey, you. Hi, sweet girl. Oh. Yeah. Glenn, you got a second? Yeah, come on in. Oh, right, I was supposed to reschedule our meeting. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I, I know you got a lot on your mind. I just don't think this should wait. How? No, I don't know yet. Uh, but someone's definitely been moving money around, trying to disguise their tracks. You mean somebody's stealing from us? Well, I found an offshore account. It's in Santo Enrique. And the money was transferred there, but it's since been withdrawn. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I'll stay on it. Try to figure out who's been taking the money out. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Hey, Harry. Yes. It's great work. Thanks. Hey, Sienna. Hey, you like that lion? Boop. <laughs> Brooke's taking a nap. Poor thing probably got no sleep after everything you guys went through last night. Yeah. Did she ask you to come by? Oh, no, I just volunteered. Yeah, look, uh, I don't think that's such a good... It's the London office. I gotta take this. Babe, you're home? 
Where's Olivia? Ah, uh, she was in there. Mm. That's amazing. I don't feel like I'm gonna have a breakdown. <sighs> Thank God for Olivia. Uh, she's not coming by again, is she? Well, I don't know. I suppose that's up to her. I mean, she indicated that she could. Certainly, you wouldn't turn her away. Well, why not? Why not? Because trusting our baby to that drunk was a bad idea. It was your idea, by the way, so. I mean, how do you know you can trust her? What do you mean? She's a friend. You work with her husband. I mean, you hired him. It's not the same as trusting his wife with, it, with our baby. Glenn, what, what is this all about, exactly? Uh, breastfeeding. <laughs> what? I thought I saw Olivia. No, you know that I tried to breastfeed. I, I mean, I, I, I went to a nurse. I, I went to a latching specialist. No, 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 that's not. I mean, I just, I just. About Olivia. No, no, no look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore, okay? I already feel inadequate enough as it is. I'm sure Olivia would make a better mother than me. I, I'm sure anyone would make a better mother than me. Honey, honey, please. Olivia? I'm in the kitchen. Hey. 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 You're not going to believe what happened to work today. What's up? Apparently, the London office is a mess. So he's going there, and Bill and I are taking over his duties here. I mean, we're going to have to flip a coin over who gets his office, but I, who cares? Because this is going to look fantastic on my resume. D London, does that... Is he taking the whole family? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, it's from the south of it, it's going to be a few years. Uh, the baby will probably grow up with uh, an English accent. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so stupid. Um, I bought champagne, I left it in the car. I will be right back. They're moving to London. Oh, London? That's so exciting for Brooke. Baby, you mean Brooke's baby? Yes. Just when I was finally getting to spend time with her. Well, I was hoping that you would understand. Sweetie, I'm trying. I just... No one gets it. When I look at that baby, I... I feel whole. Like everything is right in the world and nothing else matters. No, maybe you should try seeing that therapist you're seeing again. No, maybe you're not old heart. I don't need to see anyone. Why can't people just understand that it makes me happy to spend time with my baby? Brooke's baby. Olivia. Brooke's baby. That's what I said. No, it's not. It doesn't matter, anyway. I think it does. I'm starving. Olivia. Olivia. What are you gonna get? A cob, cob salad, maybe? No, hey. I'm fine, stop. I'd be happy to talk, but I'm at work. It's just that Glenn is moving his family to England, and he's gonna work out of the London office. They're moving in a couple of weeks. London? Glenn is moving to London? And my friends I'm sorry to cut you off, Olivia, but I really okay. have to go. Wait. Uh, Any other time, honest. Uh. <clears throat> so it turns out Bill likes his office just fine, which means I get Glenn's. But I was thinking maybe next week you come down and, and uh, give me some decorating tips. If it was up to me, I would just be working out of boxes on the floor, but I'm going to have to host meetings out of there, and that is not a good look. I, I read that up to time ago.
Hey, have you seen her? Yeah, I was thinking that. Well, look at you. Oh, Harry. Uh, can I talk to you for a second? Of course. What are you doing home so early? Just had to get out of there. What's going on? Somebody filed a sexual harassment complaint against Glenn today. What? What, what did he do? He didn't do anything. I mean, I'm pretty sure. You know, that's what Mary and Rick from HR said, but you know, they got into an investigation. Maybe it's not so bad. It means he has to stay here while they conduct the investigation. So one of the other partners is going to London, which means he is not going to London, which means my promotion's been pulled. I can't stop thinking about who sent that complaint. Well, silver lining is if they don't go to London, I can still help Brooke with the baby. Oh my God. Oh my God. Liv. Please tell me you did not send that complaint in. Why would I do that? The baby. Zoe told me about the, the conversation you two had. In fact, this is the least crazy idea anybody in this house has had in a while. You didn't want them to go to London, did you? No. No. Because of the baby? Yes. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm sleeping in the guest room. Harry. Stop, you're being ridiculous. Harry! Harry? Harry? family isn't having any visitors today. Who are you? I'm a security consultant. The Wilsons have hired me to help protect the baby. From who? From you. <laughs> Is this a joke? No joke. Olivia, Glenn called me from the office. Harry told him that he thinks you were behind the complaint against Glenn. And Glenn told us that he saw you with the baby that night at your house. Maybe you need help, but stay away from us. Stay away from my baby.
You didn't answer any of my calls. I need to talk to you. Well, I didn't want to talk to you. Harry. You told Glenn and Brooke that I made the complaint. Now they're never going to let me see the baby. That somehow this is all my fault. Uh, no. You need help, Liv. I mean, serious help. And not from some sympathetic therapist. From somebody who will tell you that there is something seriously wrong with you. That your actions are destructive to yourself and to everybody around you. You're not... I am so angry. And I'm really confused. I'm just going to sleep some more for a few nights. Harry. Harry, just... Stop. I love you. Okay, I love you, but I need some time to figure things out. Hello? 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 It's Olivia. This has got to stop. Thanks for seeing me on such short notice. N none of my other friends have been returning my calls. They all act like they think I'm crazy or something. No, they don't understand what you're going through. I mean, postpartum depression on top of grief? Friends are trying. I mean, the loss of a child is something that almost no one will have to experience, so no one has any idea what you're going through. Harry lost a child, too. Yeah, but no postpartum depression for him. The thing is, I felt fine until I wasn't allowed to see that baby anymore. When I lost my child, everyone was afraid to mention babies to me. They were afraid of what I would do when I saw a baby, and then I finally did see a baby, and I felt happy. And now, those same people sound like a fortune cookie, but I think things are going to work out for you. Thank you. Well, I'm a nurse. It's in my nature to help out. Well, if you ever need a website designed, I can return the favor. All right. Nancy, it's time for my meds. Okay, one second, Mom. Olivia, this is my mom, Holly. Hi. I'm sorry to interrupt. It's just I've got so many pills. I thought I'd make use of my living nurse. Uh, I understand. We all hit rough patches. You're gonna get your life back on track. Excuse me. Olivia Davis? Yeah. Detective Robinson, investigating the death of Janice Cronin. She was working for Glenn and Brooke Wilson. She was watching their baby. The Looks like she only had about half a glass of wine in her system, and there were signs of a struggle. What does that have to do with me? Well, we're just talking to anybody who had contact with the family or with the nanny. I never met her. Because you started helping Brooke out with the baby after the nanny had died, is that right? That's right. Just so I have this straight, you asked Brooke about helping out with the baby, and she told you she had already hired a nanny. But then after the nanny is killed, you asked her about helping out with the baby again. You think that I killed her so that I could take her job? <laughs> That's crazy. But my timeline is correct. <laughs> so why don't you tell me what you were doing the night she was killed? I was at the movies. Look, I bought my ticket online. I'm sure that there's security footage. We'll check it out. But for now, I'm going to need a little bit more information. They think that I killed this woman. The detective made it seem like he was asking around, but I know that Brooke and Glenn are pointing him right to me. Okay, it's okay. Just try to stay calm. Um, do you want to meet somewhere and talk? Yes, I can drive back right now. Oh, you know, I'm not at home right now. Um, 
Can you meet me at the park? The one near Brooke's house, say like 30 minutes? Yeah, yes, absolutely. It's okay, I'll see you soon. Thank you. something for you. Restraining order. No, 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 no. This is a big misunderstanding. I'm not here because of them. I was meeting somebody else yes, here. This isn't about today. The judge signed it based on everything else you've been up to. I just picked it up at the courthouse and was headed over to your place. And thanks to this little family or the property. I'm telling you. No. I'm telling you. Stay away from them. Stay away from the baby. We know it was you. What are you talking about? Your alibi for the nanny's death is a bunch of bull. I was at the movies. You think the cops are stupid? I used to be one, so I know what they're thinking. So what if your ticket was scanned in? The movie starts, the lights go down, you could have just walked out. Plenty of time to get over to the Wilson house. I didn't. A lot of people don't believe you. You have to take that seriously. said Olivia's outside. Honey, honey, you know what's safe It's us. fine, it's fine. Just stay here. Fart it. Fart it. Search the perimeter of the house. Everything checks out. They're gonna be bringing him over to the nearest hospital. How is he? Still unconscious. EMTs think he might have a skull fracture. She's crazy. Olivia, you know that, right? Look, we're gonna bring her in for questioning, but until we figure out where she is, I'd like to station an officer at your house. Yeah. Well, even still, I'd like to have an officer drive by every now and then. Okay. Hey. What are you doing? I just stopped by the house. The police are looking for you. They think you attacked Brooke's security guard. 
That's ridiculous. I was nowhere near their house. I know. I've been tracking your phone. What? Look, this is a good thing. How is you? I was out jogging. I know, I've got your entire route tracked on my phone. Fine, did you give the police that? No. Why? If I tell the police I'm tracking your phone, I have to admit that I know where you are right now. And look, I wanted to talk to you first. Go ahead. Olivia, you are obsessed with that baby. But if you didn't attack that security guard, that means somebody else did. And killed the nanny. Killed? She wasn't drunk. Someone pushed her in the pool. Okay. Okay, that's exactly my point. It's not you. Which means there is somebody out there who is really dangerous. Look, Olivia, you're my wife. Okay, I love you. I just wanted to get to you before the... I have no idea what's going on. I know. Please just get in. I know you didn't write that letter against Glenn. Thank you. We're gonna have a hard time convincing the police of that. They've already poked holes in my alibi for the night the nanny was murdered, not to mention the restraining order. What restraining order? The delivery room nurse. Nancy had been helping me out, lending an ear. I was on my way to meet her when I ran into Brooke and they slapped a restraining order against me because it's his idea to meet there. Okay. Okay, will she tell the police that? I went straight to voicemail. Maybe she's working. Okay, we can, uh, we'll swing by the hospital. Maybe we can talk to her. Well, her house is right around the corner. Maybe we should just go there first. Fine. Hi, I'm Olivia, Nancy's friend we met earlier. I'm sorry, she's not here right now. Please, come in. I'm glad to see a familiar face. Were you supposed to meet her here? No, 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 we just couldn't reach her on the phone, so we thought we'd stop by and try to catch her. You know, I couldn't reach her either. That's okay, we'll, uh, we should go. No, 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 please sit, please. Sure. Wow, this is a, this is a really nice pillow. Oh, Nancy brought that back with her from Santo Enrique. Sort of a peace offering, I suppose. For her going on a spur of the moment vacation. I'm so sorry to hear that. I just, did you say, um, Santo Enrique? And we were low on funds. But when she got back, she suddenly discovered that we had enough money for the operation. So. Excuse me, it's time for more meds. Please make yourselves at home. Hurry, what are you doing? Santo Enrique. That's the same island I traced the missing money to. Okay? Money goes missing five and a half months ago, the same time your friend Nancy is on the island. It's just a coincidence. No. Look, Nancy needs money for her mother's operation, right? She goes on vacation, comes back with the money. Come on. When was the last time you went on vacation and came back with more money than you started with? Hurry, she's gonna be back any second. Just a minute, just a minute. Holy. What? It's a receipt for a money order from Santo Enrique for $50,000, the exact amount that was stolen from the company. I bet she laundered it. We will never be able to trace this back to the original company that it was embezzled from, unless someone is a total amateur and hangs on to the receipt. Should we try calling you? Oh yeah, that's right. Yes, thank you. Would you like to leave your name, sir? No, no, I don't want to leave my name. Okay, they're gonna do a wellness check and someone will stay with Holly till Nancy shows up. Okay, so you think that Nancy stole the money from your company, but why? Her mother's surgery? The real question is why my company? Right, she had to have somebody on the inside, someone to actually transfer the money to Santo Enrique. Harry, 
What if Nancy's behind all of this? The my Nancy killed the nanny and attacked the security guard. We need to tell Glenn. Harry, what do you do? Okay, what's going on? And we just need a few minutes of your time, Glenn. That's it. I admit that I went overboard when it comes to your baby. But I'm not responsible for any of the weird things that are happening. But I found the money. What? It was Nancy. The nurse, please, just... just... Okay, but... Brooke and the baby are sleeping. We have to keep it down. Okay, uh... All right, look. I know it wasn't Olivia who was outside your house tonight. And we can prove it. We're certain it was Nancy who filed the sexual harassment complaint against you. And I found a receipt at her house for a money order from Santo Enrique for the exact amount the company's been missing. We just don't know why she did it. Glenn, you have to believe- Why she is doing all this. I know you are. <gasps> Glenn. What Glenn, are you doing? I'm telling you, she had nothing to do with this. Shut up. Put your phones on the floor. Glenn, come on. I said put your phones on the floor. All right, just take it easy. Get in there. Come on, man. Down the stairs. Get in there. Gotta call the police, right? You call the police, they'll show up, we can explain everything. I don't think he's gonna call the police. said that he shot at someone in the bushes and that he missed. But what if he didn't miss? What if Glenn killed Nancy? What? Come on. Liv, this is Glenn. Why would Glenn kill Nancy? Why would he point a gun at us? You said that someone inside your company had to transfer the $50,000 to Santo Enrique so Nancy could get the money. What if it was Glenn? Okay. Okay, why? Right? Why? Why would he transfer? It says, uh, hooray, our baby lived. Take a huge pile of cash. Brooke had so many miscarriages. Oh, yes. So you don't pay somebody that kind of money because your baby lived. You pay somebody $50,000 to do a job for you. What kind of job? What, what kind of job could she have done that would be worth it? What if Brooke's baby died? And Glenn was worried about the way that she would react, and so he paid Nancy to switch the baby. No. no. Come on. Come on. There is no way they did something that horrible. Maybe even if they did, 
Everyone said that I was crazy, but I knew. I knew from the moment I saw that baby. I knew. Our baby's alive. Our baby's alive. <laughs> Our baby's alive! Oh. <laughs> he knew. He knew the whole... I don't think that Brooke would have let me get so close to Sienna if she knew. Harry, we have to get out of here. Okay. Okay. House. Olivia. I lost my baby once. I will not lose her again. Baby, he's got a gun. It's gonna take a lot more than a gun to stop me. isn't it? Don't listen to her. Give me the gun. She's the one who's been stalking you this entire time. Tonight you're secure. Her. She's crazy. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And then you hid the body before the police could show up because otherwise you would have to confess that the baby is mine. <sighs> You knew. No, I didn't know. So the nurses did their thing, and my daughter has a clean bill of health. Oh, my God. Hi. Hello. Then the baby wouldn't latch on. And there was this connection missing. God, I, I kept telling myself I was crazy. How could you? How could you do that? I did it for you. For us. We tried so many times. When the nurse brought Sienna into the nursery for the tests, she discovered our baby had died. She desperately needed money for her mother's operation. She could tell I was rich. 
She said she could switch the ID bracelets, but I had to think quick before the other nurse came in. Then I panicked. I said yes. I had no idea it was your baby. You honestly think it matters whose baby you stole? So guilty. Lied this whole time. You said that it was Olivia who did this. You even told the police. Honey, I had to. I had to hide everything that was going on. I was in too deep. She kept coming at me, making more and more demands. That's when I knew she was crazy. What are you doing? Oh, you want more money? Is that it? I didn't take your money out of greed. My mom would have died. And her tumor's back and she needs another operation. Look, we made a deal. One payment for one... Baby. For one baby. You paid for a baby? No. That's how I feel about my mother. I'm not just gonna stand around and watch her die. Get off my property. No. She wouldn't listen. She showed up to Sienna's party to hit me up for more money. But when she saw all of us together, she figured she could blackmail me. But Harry had discovered the 50,000 that I'd given her. It had been embezzled from our company. I couldn't pay her if I wanted to. But she didn't listen. She just kept coming and coming and coming at me. And at time at the shop here in our house, and that's when the nanny must have caught her in the act. And she drowned her in our pool. You knew that she killed someone and you didn't warn your wife? I thought I could fix it! I had us halfway transferred to London just to get away from her. But she filed that complaint. And she sabotaged everything. And you saw an opening tonight and you killed her. Shut up. Honey, I can fix everything. Just give me the gun. Stop, please, stop. <laughs> please. He is going to kill me and Harry, and he will not get away with it. Shut up. Shut up. Honey, listen to me. We can still be a family. Just give me the gun. Brooke, please. Please. Baby needs her mother. You are her mother. Glenn, Glenn, stop, stop, please, stop. Glenn, don't do this. inside there, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, she's gotten so big. Oh, my God. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hi. This is Rob. Oh, nice to meet you. You <laughs> too, finally. So close. Hey, how are you, Harry? Harry, good to meet you. You must be the new boyfriend. Um, fiance, actually. <laughs> Wow. wow. Hey, congratulations. That was fast. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so wow. much. I'm very excited. Wow. Thank you. 
That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you. We know you're going to make a great mom. Thank you. Join me? <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 yeah.